on January 19th, 2018, at the All India Vedic Sammelan, Junior Education Minister Satyapal Singh said that evolution was false because none of our ancestors had written about seeing a monkey turn into a human. He was reprimanded by Union Minister Prakash Zavadekar for making the remark, but this was only the latest in an expanding list of science-denying statements uttered by senior BJP leaders, starting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who claimed plastic surgery originated in ancient India with the elephant-headed god Ganesh. We Ganesh Ji. Koi to plastic surgeon hoga us zamane mein, jisne manushya ke shreer par haathi ka sar rakh kar ke plastic surgery ki praram kiya hoga. A BJP MP from Gujarat claimed that cow urine could cure cancer, while another minister for education in Rajasthan claimed that cows were the only animals to inhale and exhale oxygen. Satyapal Singh earlier said engineering students should be taught about the mythological Pushpak Viman or flying chariot in the Ramayan. When you deny well-established uh, facts with strong empirical evidence, I mean, I think you then have to deny the process by which we arrived at those facts, right? So denying something about evolution also denies something about the process by which we discovered gravity or electrons, right? It's all linked. So on the one hand, the government is trying to promote science. And in fact, there are arms of the government that are doing this very, very well. And I don't think they realize that all these things are connected. You can't, on the one hand, have uh, a session at the Indian Science Congress on mythologically based ideas, and on the other hand, claim you're supporting science. You can't, on the one hand, tell the scientists of the country, you know, go out and develop antibiotics and go out and develop uh, crop improvement. And on the other hand, say that evolution has to be removed from the textbooks. The process of evolution is one of the ways by which we improve crops. It's one of the ways by which we develop antibiotics. So science is not an a la carte menu where you can pick and choose the bits that you like. You like the whole thing or you don't like the whole thing. Satyapal's remarks against evolution betray the deep-seated misconceptions around the scientifically accepted theory even 150 years after the publication of On the Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. Notwithstanding the fact that the theory claims humans and apes descended from a common ancestor and not a monkey millions of years ago, expecting to find a written account of it would be impossible as human record-keeping itself began less than 10,000 years ago. And evolution doesn't happen in an instant. The minister wants evolution to be removed from school textbooks, echoing various evangelical Christian associations' attempts to ban the teaching of evolution in schools across the US. Singh tried to validate his claim by saying scientists in other countries have spoken against evolution. He was probably referring to a report in Newsweek from 1987 when 700 out of 4,80,000 scientists in the US said they believe in creationism, the belief that God created the universe less than 10,000 years ago. Another senior BJP leader tweeted his support to Singh by presenting an article from Evolution News, a portal run by the Discovery Institute, a US-based think tank that claims Judeo-Christian values as its philosophy. While the scientific community in India has condemned the minister's statement and sought a retraction, the episode underscores the government's disturbingly ambivalent attitude to modern science.